Balotelli from long distance, lifting it into the corner. Absolutely brilliant from Ballo. Not so long ago, Mario Balotelli was one of football's greatest wonder kid. Nevertheless, his career gradually faded until he disappeared from the front pages of the football world. While immensely talented, Mario didn't reach all the glory that was envisioned for him. Today, he is remembered more for his famous memes than for the goals he has scored. In this video, we will look at his career to see what happened to Super Mario and where it all went wrong. This is the rise and fall of Mario Balotelli. The Rise Inter Mario started his career in 2005 at FC Lumazani in the Serie C, but immediately signed a contract with Inter Milan. He was only 16 years old. At 17, he made his debut in the first team and quickly became a regular starter for a squad that had great players like Figo, Zanetti, Adriano, Abramovic, Crespo, among many others. Balotelli began to become a household name in Italian newspapers, not only for his talent and goals, but for his eccentric demeanor. His controversies, tense relationships with the fans, and discussions with his manager Jose Mourinho quickly overshadowed his talent, forcing Inter to transfer him. Manchester City In 2010, at the age of 20, and after 86 games, 28 goals, 3 Series A, and a Champions League trophy, Super Mario was sold to Manchester City, also becoming a fundamental part of the English team managed by his compatriot Roberto Mancini. Balotelli maimed his level and soon achieved his first call for the Italian national team. Controversies continued around this young star from car accidents, visits to bars, to a fight against a high school bully. To be fair, most of these stories were pure press invention, prompting Mario to don his iconic Why Always Me t-shirt after scoring in the Manchester Derby against United. Either way, who cares about controversies when you make your club champion after 42 years? Peak 2012 was, without any doubt, Balotelli's greatest year. After winning the Premier League with City, he traveled to Poland and Ukraine to participate in the UEFA Euro 2012 representing his country and finished the tournament as one of the top scorers. One day before the semi-final against the powerful German team, Mario, after being asked why he did not celebrate his goals, claimed one of his most iconic lines, When I score, I don't celebrate because it's my job. When a postman delivers letters, does he celebrate? Well, if you said so, Mario. The next day, he was the man of the match and had his most memorable game, scoring both goals for his team in that win against Germany. In his second goal, Balotelli celebrated by taking off his shirt, not knowing that this image would travel the world and make him one of the most famous memes on the internet. However, the Italian joy didn't last long, since they lost in the final 4-0 against Spain. Anyway, the future was smiling at Mario, who had already proven that he was a diamond in the rough and that he had everything to become one of the best players in the world. It was only a matter of time, right? Milan At the beginning of 2013, after the citizens fined him for his poor discipline, Mario said goodbye to England and returned to his homeland, but this time to wear the AC Milan jersey, Inter's greatest rival. Balotelli began his first season with the Rossoneri, saying that he soon would be better than Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. As you can guess, those statements did not age well. Still, his first two seasons with Milan were quite good, maintaining the level he had been showing and crowning those years by participating in his first World Cup and even scoring a goal in his debut. However, Italy did not make it through the group stage. Balotelli clearly wasn't going to be better than Messi or Ronaldo but he was still a talented young player with many years of career at the top. Or, yes, this is where the decline begins. The Fall Liverpool Milan would sell Mario to Liverpool, which was, as he himself later defined it, the worst mistake of his life. Balotelli didn't get along with Brendan Rodgers, his new manager, and failed to meet the fans' expectations. He had the worst year of his career in his first season with the Reds, scoring only four goals and was considered one of the worst signings of the season. Although in 2015 he returned on a loan to Milan, neither would he find his previous level there. On his return to Liverpool, new manager Jurgen Klopp didn't even include him in the preseason. Knees 
With nowhere to go, Balotelli signed for OGC Nice in France, by no means the destination for a superstar. That must be rock bottom, right? Well, not quite. In Nice, Balotelli played remarkably well, even helping Nice to qualify for the Champions League. But things got rocky again when Patrick Vieira took over as Nice's manager. His words are graphic enough to sum up his feelings for Super Mario. When it comes to Mario, I want to answer back or just slam him up against the wall. Pretty clear, right? During the last few years, Balotelli's career had been practically stagnant. He played half a season for Olympique de Marseille without trouble or fanfare. Then he spent a season at Brescia in Series A, unable to avoid relegation. On December 2020, Mario signed a contract with AC Monza, a club from the Series B owned by ex-Prime Minister of Italy, Silvio Berlusconi. Yes, Silvio Berlusconi. And that was Balotelli's career so far. It is safe to assume that he won't be better than Messi or Ronaldo. But who knows, maybe Super Mario can still make a first-class comeback. Either way, Balotelli has still a more than successful career, even if he did not meet the expectation around him. Moreover, he was one of the first players that stood against racism in Italy. Let me know in the comments section below what you think about Super Mario's career. Did he underachieve or not? I'd love to read your thoughts on this one. To enjoy more football videos, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click on one of these two videos.